Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays, guys. And this is Venge here bringing you another Right Stuff anime review. But before I get into that, I would like to give a huge shout out to Right Stuff Anime for sending this over my way. And if you become interested in this product, then make sure to click on the link in the description section below to get the right stuff for the right price of $37.50. Dudes and dudettes. This set's full price was originally $70. $5. So you need to jump on this now while the holiday sale is still going on. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the visual representation by taking a quick look at the cover art. And I love the clean use of bright colors and the inclusion of the characters in their respective Gundams. The cover has Gundams in various fight poses and the characters are grouped together near the top right corner. The entire space is used, and that's one of the things that I really like about this one. Uh, there's no empty space, and there's a bright, clean font of the logo found in the upper left corner of the cover. As you move towards the spinal portion of the cover, you get a different background. And so let's take a quick look at the middle. And then the middle portion, basically that different background blends into the back of the cover itself. So you get a simple grid pattern with nice shades of blue as well as crisp thumbnails of the series itself. So why don't we go ahead and read what we have on the back here. The time is the near future. Years have passed since the 1980s when Gunpla plastic models based on the Mobile Suit Gundam animation created a huge boom. Now a new wave is spreading the world in what could be called a second Gunpla boom. Its popularity is driven by Gunpla battle in which assembled Gunpla can be controlled and made to fight. With the introduction of this revolutionary battle system, its popularity has expanded to the point that a Gunpla Battle World Tournament is held each year. The main character of the story, Sei Iori, is a young Gunpla builder who loves Gunpla and dreams of entering the Gunpla Battle World Tournament. As the only heir to a hobby shop, he has high Gunpla building abilities, but he doesn't know how to control them in battle, and is continually defeated in the opening rounds of tournaments. When he meets Reiji, a mysterious boy with superb gunpla control skills, they team up to take on the world tournament. Say the gunpla builder, Reiji the gunpla fighter, Say builds in Reiji battles. They're the build fighters everyone is talking about. Their goal is to enter the gunpla battle world tournament and win. Gundam Build Fighters contains episodes 1 through 25. Special features is clean openings, clean endings, battle selection, Japanese trailers and commercials, and the spoken languages is English, Japanese with English subtitles. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Now there isn't any art of any kind um, inside, however, you just gotta take a good look at the high quality art of the that you can find on the covers of the discs. Let me give you a good look here. Very solid in terms of detail. Straight up. A1 steak sauce. I love it. I really love it. It's really good. I just love the detail, man. And that's one thing that I love about Right Stuff. The quality is always top notch when it comes to their disc covers. Amazing stuff. The Right Stuff. Ho, ho, ho! It's that time again! I noticed that you're still watching this video, which gives me the pressure that you're interested in checking out 
Gundam build fighters, or at least built some kind of curiosity and want to learn more before you buy. So be sure to check the description section below to find a link to get the right stuff for the right price. Gundam build fighters reminds me of a series that I watched a ton way back in the day when I was kind of, I guess it was like back in high school. Uh, the series that I'm talking about is completely different from Gundam, but it gives off that vibe because that series was known as Beyblade, and Beyblade involved kids using spinning tops augmented with magical creatures known as Bit Beasts to take part in competitive tournaments. And it was a very casual series. And when um, I think of Gundam Build Fighters, it just reminds me so much of that because it involves people of various ages building models of Gundams, which are called Gunpla, which are used to take part in battle tournaments. And technology was created to actually breathe life into these Gunpla Gundam models. What is wrong with me today? So the story is about a boy named Sei, and Sei is very skilled at building Gunplas, however he's no good at using them during battle and when he took place in previous tournaments he would always lose at the very beginning so he's not very confident in his skills but in terms of building he's a one at that so after losing to a skilled player named susumu say he knew he could not complete <clears throat> could not complete in this year's gunpla tournament and so, while showing feelings of gloom and doom, Sei encounters a mysterious individual named Reiji. And Sei got Reiji out of a tight situation, and he told Sei he would grant him any wish he chooses. Now, during a rematch with Susumu later on, and I believe it was episode one, Sei was thinking to himself he didn't want to lose because he was getting wrecked by Susumu hard and Reiji came out of nowhere to help him. He just came in like a wrecking ball. Shortly after that battle, Sei asked if Reiji can take part in the Gunpla tournament. Sei would build, Reiji would battle, but Reiji said that he returned a favor so he wasn't necessarily interested in doing any more battles so it seemed as though uh say he was out of luck but wouldn't you know it just like anime fashion people learn of reiji's skill and he gets dragged into another battle and during that battle he took an l from a powerful player and that actually got reiji fuming and shortly after that he agreed to become say's partner so Say sets him up as the builder and Reiji knocks him down as the fighter. This Gundam series is very simplistic. So casual that fans don't have to make a whole lot of sense out of, you know, political relationships. Because one of the issues with the Gundam franchise, especially the older ones, is like, uh, it's usually, it usually contains a lot of political relationships and you have to make sense of those in order to get a better picture of the story but in this series that's not the case so the use of color and super clean animation definitely fits the bill in terms of it, this series being a more modern anime due to its top-notch quality the right stuff gundam builders defines a lot of Gundam terms in this field with tons of references from the entire Gundam franchise. So pretty much people that are casual, people that are very familiar with the Gundam franchise as a whole, everyone can get into this series. And when I saw the model of Wing Zero being used in battle, I was straight up hyped. Wing Zero is like one of my favorite Gundams um, out of the entire franchise and I'm a huge fan of G Gundam so I am sure that there's a good chance that there's going to be a Gunpla model of the Burning Gundam from G Gundam so I'm really excited to see what Gundams that I will notice because there is also Gumpla models of uh, like older Xeon mobile suits, which was really cool to see. 
With that said, I would like to give Gun- I was about to say Gumpla. I would like to give Gundam Builders 10 out of 10. And if you want to purchase this cool series, make sure to do it now because right now there's huge holiday savings. So make sure to use that link in the description section below to get the right stuff for the right price. So remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com. Peace and God bless.